we're gonna be blowing up a phone. Hello? Hello? Hello. What, <laughs> what are we gonna be blowing up today? Uh-huh, uh-huh, that's right, yes. Oh, you! <laughs> Wrong number. Probably haven't seen one of these uh, if you were born like anywhere after 1990 uh, because you're only familiar with cellular telephones. Makes sense. Um, I remember when I got my first cell phone. We don't really use landlines anymore. I mean, I guess in some offices there are actual telephones and they ring. It's like, it's kind of a weird thing now because everyone has a cell phone. Uh, when the telephone was invented by Alexander Bell, uh, actually sorry, it was Hamilton, Alexander Hamilton, uh, the original greeting that Hamilton wanted was ahoy, not hello, but like a ship, like ahoy, <laughs> we've, we've come aboard land, ahoy. Could you imagine? Ring. Ahoy. <laughs> it kind of sounds like a pirate. Ahoy, mate. Yeah, that sounds more like Australian. But like, yar, we be here. Ah, yes, in the desert. Uh-huh, yes. Will it blow? We will find out really soon. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I got the pirate's booty, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. I'll see you at seven. Yar. That would be strange. I, I, I'm really glad that we have hello. The very first phone call ever, which you might imagine is a spectacular thing, I mean, it had never been done in history, was, quote, Watson, I want you, come here. That was the first phone call, the entire thing. Alexander Graham Bell needed to get a hold of his assistant, Watson, so he called him on the telephone and said, Watson, come here, I want you. He at least could have been like, hey man, how cool is this? I just invented the telephone. It's gonna revolutionize communication globally. Nope, he just said, come here. You know, really, really direct, really to the point. Thanks, Alexander Graham Bell. The most expensive phone number in the world is 666-6666, which was auctioned off for over two million dollars. I just, I just don't think it's worth it. I mean, you could have just as easily just typed in 555, then the rest of the numbers, and not have to pay a single cent. Or like 1-800-666-6666. If you're in the United States, it'd have been free. So, whatever, dude. I mean, I guess like, you know, he was going through the goth phase or whatever, and he's like, I'm gonna do it. I wanna be all like possessed, and it's gonna be hilarious, and I've got $2 million burned, so I'm gonna go ahead and burn it, because I'm the devil. That's why I got the number, because I can burn it, because I'm in hell. Maybe that's probably not how it went down. But if it did, that's, that's a good scenario. We're gonna go ahead and put this on the bomb pot because it, the, the way that the, the phone is, it's really dense and so I have a pretty good idea about how this thing's gonna blow up, but um, the bomb pot tends to really kind of like, it's got a lot of force, but the phone is also very strong. I mean, it's like really compact. So my, my prediction for this is, is that it's gonna blow up about 40%. What that means is I believe the body is just gonna go everywhere, they're gonna get little parts and whatnot, and then the actual like hello part, like the hello, that was the, the Adele throwback. Um, that part, that's probably gonna still be around. And so I'll be able to use that part of the phone afterwards, but the actual body, it's, it's gonna be gone. But the real question is, will it blow? So anytime we deal with hard, like hard parts, uh, we wanna make sure that we take safety extremely seriously because stuff goes flying, I don't want anybody to get hurt, so I'm ducking way below, below this thing, and I'm having our camera guy over there probably. Legit face shield. Okay, all right, and three, two, one, call me maybe. Oh my god, pieces are still coming down. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, well, there was a phone here. Oh, I love this. I love when I find the first little piece. <laughs> it's like it's like a kid on Christmas. Oh, that's the that's the actual charge, I believe. Um 
Okay. Well, let's go try to find some more funky. Well, there's the base of it, kind of. It's impressive. Okay, well, my prediction was actually way off. I thought this would be the only surviving part. Um, I would say that's not really usable. It's kind of like a walkie, like uh, over and out. Uh, that 100% got blown up. That's right. Nickipedia phoning in to um, all our viewers out there. Um, Nickipedia X. Mm, over and out, this thing blew up. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section below what you want to see blow up in our next episodes. And subscribe! We have new videos every week and we want to make sure you never miss a single Will It Blow video. Also, we couldn't have made this possible without the help from our professional stuntmen, James and Matt. Their information is in the description below and we'll see you really soon.